Welcome to Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram, where we travel Queensland's first light rail system and discover the exciting science and engineering challenges that the project team have encountered to bring the system to life. In Australia, we're lucky to have precious native wildlife living in our communities. Here on the Gold Coast, the city has a lot of unique natural landscapes and wildlife habitats, ranging from the mountains in the hinterland, the coast and wetlands. Eloise has this report. Thanks, Libby. Did you know the Gold Coast is one of the most biodiverse cities in Australia, with nearly half of its landmass native vegetation? One of the special birds living here is the eastern osprey. They build large nests on prominent communication towers, headlands or tall trees where they can have clear views of the water. Did you know the osprey can spot fish from 40 metres above water? Their nests are mainly made of large sticks collected from nearby trees. The Gold Coast Bridge, here in Southport, is home to one very special pair of osprey birds who have been living here for more than 11 years. In constructing Queensland's first light rail system, the project team needed to relocate the nest of the Osprey pair to ensure its owners were safe from construction activities associated with the new pedestrian and cycle bridge. I caught up with McConnell Dow's senior project engineer Earl to find out a little more about these special birds. When we first started looking at building the pedestrian and cycle bridge over the Narang River, we saw the birds nest high up on the power pole beside the existing bridge. We learned that the birds were very special to the local community and as the nest was right where we needed to build the bridge, we knew we had to move it. So what did you do when you realised there were celebrities living near the bridge? We went to our local fauna spotter catcher because he's moved birds like this before and it's his job to safeguard wildlife. With the help of the fauna spotter catcher, we spent several months monitoring the ospreys and their nest. We found out that they use the nest to lay their eggs and to then care for their young chicks until they are grown up and ready to look after themselves. We also found out that it is best to move the birds early in the year so as to not upset them during their breeding season. I've been told that the Australian osprey form a lifelong bond with a breed partner and return to the same nest every breeding season. Yes, that's right. This pair has been coming back to this nest for more than 11 years and in that time they've produced many little chicks. The best time for the ospreys to breed is between May and October. So how did you move the nest? Under the advice of the fauna spotter catcher, we carried the current pole the nest was on by crane to a clearing more than 50 metres away. The fauna spotter catcher was also there to double check there were no eggs or young in the nest on the day of relocation, as well as clean the nest to free it from any fishing line or hooks that may have been accidentally brought up there by the birds. The move took us four hours and we had more than 40 people working on it. 40 people to move two birds? Yes, that's right. They're very precious birds. He also provided advice on the animal behaviour during the relocation procedure. Wow, what a big task the team had to undertake. Just one thing though, I noticed there's no nest on the pole anymore. Where are the birds? After we moved the nest, the osprey were very happy with the new location. Just like humans, once a young chick has grown up, it is expected to leave the parent's nest and build its own nest. Unfortunately last year, one of the young chicks from 2011 returned home and the parents weren't too happy that the chick had returned. To encourage it to leave and build its own nest, the parents destroyed their nest by pushing all of the sticks off the platform. We are pleased to announce that we spotted the osprey again recently, and we are hopeful that they will re-establish their nest here soon. Thanks, Earl. Back to you, Libby. Until the next time we travel the Gold Coast Light Rail Science Tram, keep loving learning.